Hello and welcome to word list 2. In this word list there are 10 words and today we are going to learn about these words. These words are abate, approbation, circuitous, curtail, eloquent, gourmet, invective, oscillate, rancor, tantamount. The first word is abate, means to reduce or lessen. The rain poured down for a while then abated, means after pouring down for a while the rain stopped or reduced. In this picture we can see the rain is stopping. The second word is approbation. Approbation means praise. The crowd welcomed the hero with approbation. We can see the man in the picture and he must be a hero for him to be welcomed with such praise. Third word is circuitous, means roundabouts. The bus's circuitous route covered the whole city. In this picture we can see there are four roundabouts. The fourth word is curtail, means to lessen or reduce. Since losing his job, he had to curtail his spendings, means after losing the job, he had to cut down his expenses. Fifth word is eloquent, means expressive, articulate, moving. The priest gave such an eloquent sermon that most churchgoers were crying, means that priest gave such a moving and expressive uh, speech that most of the people there were crying. In this picture, we can see a girl, she must be moved and she's crying. Sixth word is gourmet, means someone fond of eating and drinking. James doesn't stop eating, he has become a real gourmet. In this picture, we can see a man who is already so obese and he is eating too much. Seventh word is invective, means an angry verbal attack, to attack uh, each other verbally. A couple had hurled racist invective at each other. In this picture, we can see a couple who is fighting. Eighth word is oscillate, means to sway from one side to the other, means being indecisive about something. She oscillated back and forth trimming her hair. Trimming the hair, means she was unable to decide whether she should trim her hair or not. The ninth word is rancor, means deep bitter resentment, hatred. When Eileen challenged me to a fight, I could see the rancor in her eyes, means uh, when uh, in the picture we can also see the girl and she's urging uh, the other person to fight and she has uh, bitter resentment and hatred in her eyes. The twentieth word is tantamount, uh, the equivalent in value or significance. When it comes to sport, fearing your opponent is tantamount to losing means if you fear your opponent, you are bound to lose or it is equal to losing. In this picture we can see a girl who is uh, being fearful and anxious. That's it for today. Thank you so much.